it's not structure that's needed it's um it's the freestyle blogging yeah. is very popular really right and there might be a little bit of an overload in too many people writing walls of text but if 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 more of that was networked and just had a little bit of structure that pointed towards education yeah then it would be extremely valuable and and, and that's just from the educational perspective i tend to also look at um the dissemination of the individual um i i use uh people like terence mckenna the the work that he has done right if he had had the same tools available that we have now yeah there would be a lot more material available so it's also for uh, posterity right yeah. If people start documenting at least some of their thoughts or ideas or uh, create material, well, I say for free because, of course, people need to earn a living some way, um, but you can't really put a price on immaterial value. Uh, yeah. it, it's, it's, it's impossible. You don't know what type of popularity you're going to get. And, and usually, if you are a life artist, if you are truly virtuous, um, <laughs> then, then you will ne most likely only reach that point very late in life. It takes a long time to build up that momentum, right? Yeah. Especially because you're also, if, you're also developing these things yourself, right? Yeah. And, and by showing people that these tools are available now and you can really do some amazing work with very low tech, there would be so much information available that the main problem will be sorting through it all. Exactly like the blogs, right? Yeah, that, that, you're right. There, there is an issue there of, um, of classifying things and producing good search mechanisms and this brings me to, to that. so so that you know if you if you if you let's say you set up like a whole online curriculum if you if you see this this set of videos and this appeals to you and you got a lot out of it then you should also look at at this one over here which which you know follows up on it and and there are ways of linking those things but there's there's um, there's no very good way of linking them where it, where it makes sense. No, you know, and, it's, it's and word choice or things like that. And this brings me to something that I see coming very soon. Um, we will we will be getting better tools for tagging, and we will be getting yeah. uh, better tools for uh, uh, voice recognition and um, live audio caption and stuff like that. So, yeah. so you will be getting these um, weighed uh, clouds where you've got words and you can weigh them and you can get the statistical thing visualized. Yeah. So that will, of course, help us a lot in searching for things. But more important is the human contact. That's, yeah, and that's actually another thing I was wondering about. So the, the general idea, if, I, if I've got it down right from you for this trivium thing is one com one major component is, is putting together a whole set of videos that um, people can can watch can listen to um, maybe there's there's you know we, we create online resources to go along with them or you know each one has its own site with a whole bunch of links you know to, to the things that are referred to and to other videos um, and then how do you have how do you have interactivity after that? Well, the interactivity would, would most likely come by um, the fact that people would uh, go to the resources and then when they relink them through the social media, whether yeah. they are using Twitter or Facebook or Google Plus or whatever, then you can get the, the, the two-way communication that way. And this brings on mm -hmm. the fact that it is so important that the people making these things 
at least to some extent makes themselves available yeah and don't sit there and hide behind uh, TAs or PAs yeah. or whatever right because then you don't get that interaction do you know about VU um, yeah. it's, a, it's a social media that's been around for about I think about a year or so um, and here, here's the format you you have a profile and, and your profile includes a waiting video which can you know it's a very short loop and then you have a, another uh, video when somebody asks a question or, or posts a comment where you can say well I'm you know I can't answer you right now but I'll answer you in a little while and then you have a whole set of video responses people can ask you questions or make comments um, you can't dialogue directly you know video to video but um, you can you can use it like I used it for my class and I had people asking questions about particular issues and critical thinking or broader issues and then you create a up to two, up to two minute video response to them um, and the students liked it I, I, you know, I gave them extra credit for doing it because <laughs> they liked it Perfect. Um, but it, it's um, there are channels now in video and it's being used by some businesses and by um, some some different networks, you know, some things dealing with comedy or, or fashion or things like that. And it's it's still uh, in its its early growth stages, but it's got some real potential for doing interactive things like that. Um, and there is a there is a community to some degree of, of V users. Um, so I, I would take a look at that. I would actually think about seeing if, if for Trivium Education, if you could get them to um, create a channel. Because what a channel is, is you've got a bunch of different people in it. I'm already in it. Okay. Well, I'm trying to, um, and, and I, I've been um, pointing this out in, in, in relation to other products. There, there are so many specific products really that can do all these things yeah. um, and I was just doing a presentation of Skype um, and explaining why it is, it's important that people choose Skype instead of everything else because yeah. we, we can't really get to the critical mass and get the whole movement going um, unless there's enough people on one media <laughs> Yeah. This is the whole classical uh, messenger versus ICQ thing, right? And and it's the same with uh, these services. Now I've actually broken my own rule because I used to say that everyone should be on Facebook, but now I can see that some of the directions that Google Plus and, and the whole Google Docs and collaboration tools are moving into is so useful and so much in front that I think I will be slowly moving more and more over there when it comes yeah. to live activity. Um, and I think YouTube is actually um, just as good as anything else when it comes to n non um, um, simultaneous uh, communication with video. Yeah. Because I, just I putting it up there and then just uh, putting it behind uh, the wall, so it's just not publicly visible. Yeah, I think the YouTube now, and I haven't experimented with this yet, allows you to create uh, videos in response to comments. Yes, it does. Videos in response to videos. So yeah, that could be good. Um, actually, with, with VU, I found that the two-minute limit was a bit restrictive for me to go into some of the things that I wanted to to talk about. So I, I created a, a YouTube series called Dr. Sadler's Chalk and Talks. Nice. And, yeah, because, you know, I, I, I don't like these. Um, there's this video that's get, that gets used over and over in presentations, and it was made about, I don't know, five years ago, and it's about why chalk and talk is the worst thing you can ever do to students, and, and you know, we've got to, you know, get with the new paradigm and all that. So I called the Dr. S Dr. Sadler's Chalk and Talk just to sort of stick it to the people who wanted to say that you, you can't get up and lecture in front of a chalkboard anymore. And um, I would use that as, as uh, to supplement the VU stuff. And they're, they're about maybe 15 to 20 minutes long. 
I've, I've only done 10 of them so far, but I'm going to start up again uh, this fall now that I've got a, a, a new base to work from. I think one of the things that, that, that amuses me when it comes to the whole criticism of, uh, of lecturing um, with a blackboard is that I don't think that the student realized that it's basically the same as when they do their notes. Well, to it's a teacher, not the students it's very, who are criticizing it. No, no, no. But what I mean is that to a to a lecturer, yeah, writing on the board is exactly the same, or rather the reverse of the students taking notes. It's yeah. thinking with your hands. Well, you know, and I found that students really want professors to lecture. Hmm? You know, they. Uh, they get something out of it. As long as you can st kind of put in some sort of uh, break mentally, yeah. so because the attention span about 15 to 20 minutes, then you need some sort of, I don't know, a joke or something, because yeah. otherwise people are just going to go, oh my God, I can't write anymore. Um, well, and when you're lecturing, it's easier for me to do, because I, I generally teach at places that have smaller classrooms. But you, you have to engage the students. You have to ask them leading questions and get some discussion going and, you know, um, have some useful examples that, that will be funny or provocative or, or something like that. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you can, you can do very dry, boring lectures, and that doesn't do anybody any good. But students really do want the traditional lecture format because they, they find they get something out of it, you know. And one of the things that that, um, that we've been spending a lot of time on it's it's uh, testing the limits of uh, of different software and, and resources and and styles and and way to present t things really. Um, but what I have found is that there is so much not being done yet. Yeah. In applying the technology that we already have. It's still the same thing when you go to even uh, your um, uh, university uh, for yet, right? Um, the layouts of uh, educational uh, institutions, it's all the same. It's kind of the same with the... Um, websites, sir. Yeah, websites. And the same with the with the magazines. It's, it's, yeah. it's just like copy-paste all over. It's what have you got no creative thinking and then when you go to the creative people then you just face palm and go okay you're just being weird now because i have no way of actually maneuvering around your site it's like flash and autoplay and whatnot